What's going on everybody? Robin here. Welcome to your daily tarot card reading. This is going to be Friday, April 1st or April Fool's Day. Okay, so, and I just hate April Fool's Day. You know what I'm saying? It's like, stop playing stupid pranks. You know, uh, it's just ridiculous. Just stop it. I think the only people that really enjoy April Fool's Day are people that like to enjoy it pranks. But anyway, that's just me on my rant here. So let's focus on the Crystal Vision Tarot Card Deck to do your daily tarot card reading. Let me just start pulling cards and you guys can disagree me, disagree with me down below in the comments about April Fool's Day if you want, but it's, I'm just not a fan. Anyway, so <clears throat> okay. Yeah, that's nice. So we've got the Page of Swords here. Okay, so there is some impending sort of that's nice. I got the words impending doom. I'm going to write that down. Hold on. So something happening. <clears throat> Just really be aware of all types of cues today because this is like it's going to set off some sort of alert signal in your brain, but your brain isn't always right. It's reacting to stimuli that are not related to your actual core of your being. So wait for the second, or I'm getting the words tertiary, which I would never use in conversation. Um, wait for the second wave of information to come in, okay? Because your brain is gonna assess something today and see it as very, um, okay, I got the word doom. So how do you say that? You know what I mean? It's just that something is going to trigger you. And the page of swords is really sort of hunkering down and not taking any action because it recognizes that these are being intellectualized. But what's the rest of your body doing? Are you getting any sort of goosebumps? Are you getting any sort of cold flashes, warmth? You know, what else is going on? Um, pay attention to that, you know, is your body like curling itself up together or is it opening up? You know what I mean? Because there is a, a different set of like flags being set, sent up that have nothing to do with your brain and what you're actually seeing. Okay. So wait for that. <clears throat> Unless it's like really, really disastrous and you got to run for it, which I hope you don't have to do. But do you know what I mean? There's like, I'm going to give you guys a quick example. Okay. So, you know, sometimes you could be walking down the street. It could be dark or whatever. And you could see somebody walking up and immediate, immediately get alarmed. But what's really going on there? Is it just somebody trying to walk home like you are, you know? So um, just really tap into your additional senses when it comes to something coming in here, okay? So there, you're definitely missing a second set of cues. We have the Four of Cups. There's something not so obvious going on here. This is such an important reminder for you guys to not believe everything you see. There are so many things that are false. And our brain is like not interpreting, interpreting, interpreting them correctly. Okay. So you could be over glamorizing something. This is very strange. Okay. So you want to be able to trust your eyes and your brain, but there's something deeper going on here. Let's have a look and see what it is. And it, it's like, you want to believe that something is not real. Hold on. This is really intriguing. Okay, so it does look like there's something about to happen for you that is meant for you. But you could be so programmed that nothing is ever going to go right for you. I've got the justice card. You could be rooting against yourself. You could be seeing all the signs that things are going to turn out right for you and feeling them as well, but you're not tapping into it. So look for other ways of judging what is going on here today. Take 
some sort of page of reference from the page of swords and sit back into your intuition a little bit more, okay? I have to pull one more card. This is, seems really strange, but it's something is going to turn out right for you, but it looks like it's not, okay? Because you could be associating... It's going to look very similar to something that went really wrong in your past. So your brain is going to start setting off alarm signals. <clears throat> but you're missing the real point here because something is just about to go really, really right for you. Okay, so here's a little tip from the page. Sorry, the nine of swords as well. Try and rest while your brain is sorting everything out. Your brain has a situation way off track today. It's just, it seems so similar to something that happened in your past. Nine of Swords is meant to keep you up at night, but you've got to tell your brain to calm down a little bit so that your body can take over and recognize that there's something really good just about to happen for you. Your first reaction is going to be fear. You want to bolt. You want to get out of there. You want to shut somebody down. There's something bigger going on here, okay? So try and relax your mind. It could really meditate this one out. I'm going to go, okay? Bye.